super high. And then if you like take a picture, ooh, um, that wasn't it. Oh. All right, y'all good? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that was a lot, man. I'm good. Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. No, what you mean? I made y'all niggas. No, that's what I'm saying. Sorry. I mean, I kind of delayed it a little too. So. Nah, believe me, I was. <laughs> I've been fucking around with this shit all fucking day, man. Mm -hmm. I was tired. Um, but anyway, okay. I'm trying to think. Where's my. Here? Here? Yeah, it's going to be here. Okay. Wait, say some more shit? Some more shit. Okay, that was me who wasn't saying no shit. All right, bet. Everybody's good. All right. <sighs> Y'all, y'all drunk? Y'all, y'all straight? Not you drunk to... at all. <laughs> you on number like four though, right? That's number four. Four, now. five. <laughs> oh shit! This is gonna be a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny, up. man. So, uh, welcome to another episode of a one mic stand. Uh, I am Jackson, of course. I'm back in Atlanta. Uh, once again, I feel like I've been in Atlanta like like 11,000 times now, mm -hmm. ever since the live show. Um, but again, I'm Jackson from Sex with Strangers. Uh, every Monday, check us out, uh, new episodes. Uh, shout out to Singing Juice, of course. Um, but again, like I said, I'm, I'm back in Atlanta. Uh, just for a weekend, I actually came to support, like show some love to a, a podcast buddy of mine. Um, he's having an event tomorrow. Um, so I just kind of used it as an excuse to you know come back talk some shit use my vouchers uh you know try to get another interview under my belt and to finally uh give miss courtney levette here yes. uh, a second chance because she's been fucking busting my balls <laughs> for the longest about Sorry. uh about this whole beta beta thing but anyway be before we get into all of that right introduce yourself we got uh two special guests one, of course, is Courtney, and then I'll let my other special guest introduce herself uh, in a moment. Uh, I am Courtney Levette, one half of Bars and Beyond. You can check us out on YouTube. Um, all the links will be provided to Jackson, and he can post them. <laughs> will be provided. Because um, <laughs> he didn't post them last time. It's all good. I'm not tripping. No, but you can catch us every Tuesday. We post some videos, um, love, relationships, hip-hop. Sports, all that good stuff. So, did you yeah. say what your actually your name it, was? Your Instagram uh, name too? At Courtney Levet. Okay. L a v e t t e underscore. Don't forget the underscore because this is little heifer who got my name. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it pop up. And she up. don't want to change her name, but I can't wait for her to change it. I'm gonna see some decisions. Who don't want to change it? It's another girl who has Courtney Levet, so I had to add the underscore. Um, yeah. Gotcha. I'm gonna see some sister as soon as I get big time. You I gotta gotcha. go, sis. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah, right. but um. I appreciate you for letting me come back on the show. We are out of beta. We were in beta testing on the first <laughs> one. And so he has lights, camera, action. He got oh. angles. He got mics. I was like, okay, I feel important now. Like, we can do this. Whatever, but no, I appreciate man. you letting me come back on the show. And yeah. especially this one because it's going to be a really good one. It is. It is. Yeah. I, I believe it is as well. Um, and that's a great transition into just the introduction yes. um, of our featured guest, um, I don't know what you want to introduce yourself as, so I'm going to let you do that uh, because some people, you know, some people don't want to say, but, but you don't even have, just go ahead. Who, who, who are you? I know. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? My name is Aubrey. I have no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter. That's it. That is so <laughs> wild to me. Like That is crazy. Is there a specific reason that you don't have any of those? I had Instagram briefly, um, but I never post. I was always just use it to just kind of like look at like beauty tips and hair. Um, and then I kind of found myself just wanting to focus, I guess, on my transition and just not focusing on the world and whatever. Transition of what? That's such a Let's segue. Yeah, yeah, like, so, like you said that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do my job for us. Well, I guess, I don't know if I can really call it, call it a transition, but maybe I can. Um, but it's from male to female, but that's been going on since 2013. So everything I have now says female. So it's really not a transition. I kind of go back and forth between if it is or if it is. So you <laughs> were transitioning, but you've been transitioning since yes. 2013. Since 2013, okay. since July of 2013. Okay. And what we just going I'm gonna just hop right into the shit, right? What made you um what made you even agree to to come on? Cuz obviously 
your your homies with with uh Maisha who did the domestic violence the I survived him. If y'all ain't checked that out, check that out. Um, that was the one mic that I did when I was in Orlando, which was a really heavy one. Yeah. Um, and I kind of like, I kind of knew it was kind of going to be that, but I really didn't know what to expect. But it's crazy how, um, when I, I wanted, I, I wanted to have this conversation just because I wanted to, first of all, I don't really know personally any transgender trans and correct correct me at any time if i'm saying anything that's incorrect because <laughs> like i'm just like i'm just talking like you know what i'm really not trying to be know. Yeah. yeah people really don't know the and, I, and that's again like that's and, the that's another reason for yeah. because you have so many people that i don't want to say it's confusing society but you do yeah you have some people that'll get up in and ditch it yeah so like what made you because you you Obviously, you saw that because that's that's your homie, that's your friend, um, and I, I got a lot of pushback just because people kind of thought like I was uh, kind of too straightforward or kind of asking questions that were a little bit too quote unquote like ignorant or insensitive or whatever. And that was really my whole point because it's people who I try to ask the questions that people would ask or would think, but maybe might be too scared to ask because we live in the time that we live in. Um, so my question to you just first is what actually made you just agree to to come and do this? Um, we've had, her and I, we had several conversations. I was actually at work when she was texting me about it. And she's like, I really think you should do this. And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't know. Because I'm a very private individual. Like I really don't share a lot unless it's like with my closest friends. Um, so she was like, you know, I really think, you know, this would be great. She's like, you know, everyone tells you, you know, that you're different from all the other girls. So like this is your chance. And I was like, uh, you're right. So let me go ahead and. So wait, what makes you? Yeah. Different. What makes you different? It's a lot. Or what makes those other people think that you're different? Um, I guess just because a lot of the girls like me. When I say that, I'm speaking of trans women. Like a lot of them don't really have careers, and their careers are they're trying to be famous or. You know, that ain't just really? trans. That ain't just trans. Well, I mean, <laughs> hey, 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 just, watch yourself. It ain't. <laughs> like you know, they're oh, they're they they're stunting like just to get Chanel bags, just to go to the club every weekend. Like they're not really like career driven or like like me. So it's almost like they're putting on making it a show instead Correct. of taking it serious. Correct. Like this is a life change. This is like Correct. who I am. Oh, so they so it's more like a come up in a sense. Not for yes. you, I mean like for the for the other For the other girls I definitely feel like for the other girls I definitely feel like it's a come up and then I feel like a lot of them don't put in their dues. And when I say that you have so many people or so many girls that will one day be like, I'm a guy. Two weeks later they're announcing on Facebook or Instagram, Oh, I'm trans, you know, and they now have breasts. Wait a wait, minute. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. How does that it it happens? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I think one of the coming from a heterosexual male's perspective, right? One of the things that my group, I'm gonna just try to represent my group for a moment. I feel like one of the things that my group would do would be what you just said. Would be like, nah, you not a you not a girl. You a dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that that energy came from within the community yeah it does. that's the thing what's the reason for that because like why would you why would you even go to the lengths of transitioning if you're not going to be 100 percent in because to me like that's a super 100 percent kind of yeah, commitment yeah, like commitment for sure. you know what i'm saying like that's not um i guess this is tough and i say that because there's so much judgment on my community or the trans girls period so I don't want to be the one to like down or bash them but the truth is the truth and I feel like a lot of them do it to be like I don't know how to say the word but fetishized or like it's just a fetish um so like you know they'll keep their penises like they'll have the breasts they'll throw on a wig and they call themselves a woman but truth of the matter is they haven't changed their name they haven't changed their gender marker like they're living as Derek's and Dion's and Dion is unisex too. How you spell? How they spell? How they spell? How they spell the Dion? Change the D E D E O N. So does it? 
does it take away because I'm going to play kind of devil's advocate. So what if they're not really like 100% ready to make a full transition? Does it take away from them in their trans journey if they decide to keep their penis or like... Y'all can say dick. I mean... I mean, unless just, if they want to keep, <laughs> keep their dick, so like, <laughs> I was trying to be politically correct. Hey, y'all y'all say, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to offend nobody. No, okay, but like, if they want to keep it, like, does it does it take away from their journey? If they like, because does that does that mean they're not as committed as someone else who goes the entire route to have it removed? Uh, see, I feel like that's the catch twenty two. Is because I feel like to me, like I've had this, I've had this discussion with all my friends, and I'm like, to me, as a woman. How are you gonna have a dick and you fucking a man? Like to me, that's not a woman. Let's not don't don't. Ah, I don't want to uh, fuck it. Let's jump. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're just in there. So like, so if you, you said, uh, yeah, answer, answer. So if, you, if you have it and you haven't made that decision because it's a lot that goes into it, you have to really make sure you pick the correct surgeon. You know, you have to really really do your research. That's not just something you just wake up tomorrow and be like, okay, I'm gonna choose such and such. You know, because you want to see, you know, years of their work. You want to see, you know, how consistent they are. You want to make sure the anatomy is perfect. You know, you want to make sure that it looks like an actual vagina. You know, so I understand, you know, not being able to commit to that. But when you're out here using it, whether it be for cash flow or for pleasure, I don't, that's just not my thing. So. I can get that. I get that point. All right. So, like, who's fucking who? There are a lot of girls like me that are fucking guys like you not like me <laughs> not like me. no 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 yes thank you Aubrey <laughs> very heterosexual yeah no, I, get, I, I'm fucking, I get what you're saying yeah. well, he's, he's definitely a straight guy and you know they're super duper masking you know like built they do this they do that like outside you would not know and they get home and they're bent over Yo. Okay. We're only so like we're real. We're, no, because like we're jumping. So real so we're, fast. We're, 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 I, I, we're jumping so fast, right? But fuck it. It's like just how it's gonna go, I guess. So, per, you personally, mm-hmm. what is your what's your situation? I'm not climbing nobody's back. That's not. You know, say that again. I'm not climbing anyone's back. Is that okay? <laughs> What does that mean? I had to, okay. I was, I, no, okay. So I had the envision. I was like, climbing. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. What is it? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fucking nobody. Okay. Like nobody at all. Like period. I'm not climbing anyone. There's no. I'm not penetrating anyone. You okay, mean period. Yeah, period. Period. Okay. Not like. Uh, not like you're like on the celibate wave. You're just saying. Yeah, because that's not... what I was like. Are you celibate? Well, I am, but that's not the reason why. Okay. Can, okay, this is kind of personal, but I mean, I kind of here. Personal. Yeah, I was like, this we're here, but so like, have you had sex had since sex. you transitioned all the way? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Did you have sex prior to having your trans, like your your transition? So that question is broad. Break it down. Okay, like so, before you did you have sex with a a guy or a girl? Never had to? sex with a girl. Girls aren't my thing. Okay. So, but you did have sex with a guy. Yes. Okay. Prior to prior to the a transition, or prior to you having everything changed. So who said I had everything changed? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I assumed. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the assumptions. Let me take a sip. <laughs> All right. So you have. So you have not. It makes sense though. You just said I'm not climbing anybody's yeah. back. Okay. I get it now. Makes so you. Sense. So you have not had. I've had some surgeries. I've had partial bottom surgery, and that is. Medical, medically, it's called an orchiectomy, so that's where they remove the testicles and you just have your penis stuff. Okay. So that's where like all the testosterone stops being produced. Um, so yeah. And that's where you are right now. Yes. Now, are you gonna go? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the consultation is set for September the third. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's like around the corner. Yeah. You hype about it? Very happy. What may, like what? We I gotta I gotta go back to the beginning, Bad right? Track, yeah. How did um, how did you come to the? Cause I feel like I feel like the way that it, that it's explained mm-hmm. to heterosexual people is that it's more of what you identify with, right? So like, at what point in life do you start to identify as the gender that you're not? 
Um, I think for everyone it's different, but I would say for me it was very young. I'm not going to lie and say it was three years old because I don't remember that far back. Um, but I definitely feel like probably around seven, like I definitely knew that I was just different. Like I never wanted to do anything that the boys did. Um, like I wanted to stay in the house, clean up, do everything I saw my mom doing. Um, so I kind of knew at that point, like I was never attracted to females. Um, so I think I knew then. And it was just a matter of coming from a small town. I'd never seen it done correctly. So I kind of had to jump out to see things differently and actually do my research. Okay. When did you, when did you actually like make your mind up that you was going to go like full throttle with the whole transitioning thing? I was dating a guy um, and I told him, like we talked about it and he was like, well, you know, I'm not into girls, you know, I'm into guys. And I was like, okay. And at that time we were engaged. So I really thought like, okay. I'm not going to do it because we're engaged and we end up breaking up. And I was like, okay, now's my chance. So I actually sat down with my parents and I was like, look, this is what's going on. This is what's about to happen. Um, and the way I brought it to them was just so tacky. What you so mean? what did you, what did you, how did you I was just very abrasive. Like, I was just like, hey, this is my name. Like, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm going to go to the doctor. I <laughs> was like, oh, I want my dick no more. I don't want <laughs> okay, it. Okay, that's <laughs> that was definitely the topic um because my dad was like you know well you know you're a man and i was like no i said if i could like chop it off now i definitely would and like i think at that point they were just like oh so like so, what's the what go ahead i'm sorry uh, go ahead. i was just gonna say like what was your coming out story to your parents or did they already kind of like know from when my you mom younger? said that she knew since i was younger she just wanted me to make the decision oh, okay and how did your dad take it um my biological father we don't talk we haven't talked in probably about six years um, but my stepfather, who's been my father figure since I was probably about eight or nine, he took it hard. He took it hard. Like, he just didn't understand. He was like, you know, why would a man want to be with you when he can just be with a woman? Um, so, yeah. Why do you, what, how did like you answer that question? I feel like I'm going to cry on this episode. I told, <laughs> I told him, I was like, you know, some, it's really not about what you are. It's about who you are. And I think people are attracted to you for the person, not the gender, per se. Um, so I think, you know, that's kind of how I explained it, but he didn't get it. I don't think a lot of us do though. Um, and, and I don't think it's from a disrespectful angle. I think it's really just from an angle of like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. Cause it's, I, I also think it's fairly a new thing. Um, or maybe not a new thing, but a new thing that's it's one of the things that we're trying to accept as an, as a society. Um, that's what's new about it. Um, and I've 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 never been a person who just who doesn't accept stuff. I'm kind of just like you know whatever, like whatever people want to do, that's what they want to do. Um, but I am a person who tries to understand things, and a lot of it doesn't make sense to me but again like not in a disrespectful way just in a way where I, I truly just don't understand some of the things um because like if you relate it to i just want you to kind of break down the the, the identifying with a gender thing for me um because like say for instance if i wanted to, how is it different from me saying i identify as a white male like if I don't like you know what I'm saying like if I'm not and I and again like this is just this is what motherfuckers say like you know what I'm saying right if I if I if I open the door and I told you my name was Brad or Chad you know what I'm saying hey I got chinos on even though I don't I would believe the Chad but Brad would like, be hard <laughs> <to believe. laughs> you know what I'm right. saying but like what's different about what's different about you identifying as a different gender versus me wanting to identify as a as a different race or as a different I don't anything. think there's anything different per se because I feel like you have the right to identify with whatever that makes you comfortable. Um, but I think for me, like growing up, like I went to junior high school and high school as a boy, as a male. Um, and I just never felt comfortable, like just being in boy clothes, having like boxers, briefs. Like I was just like, oh, this is gross. Okay. What do you mean when you say I went to school as a male? Like what, what does that I mean? Was, I didn't transition until I was, I didn't start my transition until I was 23. But see... And I'm gonna just I'm gonna just challenge you a little bit, right? So like when you say, when I hear you say as a male, 
it sounds like you're saying that you were something different than what you actually were. So like, how do you, like, how are we, how are we, is it not a fact that you were, a, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Medically speaking, yes. So what other, what other speaking is there? I feel like this. I feel like, ugh, I guess when you say what other speaking is there, it is what it is. Um, so at the time I was a male. Um, that's what society saw me as, you know, I had the, the low cut haircut, um, you know, wore male clothing, everything said male. So to everyone around me, I was the guy. Um, so. But I feel like too, like if you're saying like, if I want to identify as a white male, what's different? I think like my perception of that is like, you can't change your complexion. Okay. You just kind of are. <laughs> I'm, you, can't bleach, you can't bleach like if you're a black man you're just always gonna be well not even black man if you're black you're just going to be that race or ethnicity uh -huh. but if you identify and you feel like i am a woman like and i can alter these things to make myself a woman i don't feel anything like a man feels then how can i say that i'm a man or you know or like if i felt like i was a man right now i want to go change everything then okay, then I'm a man, I identify as this. It's completely different to say I identify as another race or culture. It don't sound different, though. It's completely different. It don't sound different. Like, maybe, it just, like, the way you're explaining it, like, and I'm not saying that it's not different. No, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it don't sound different. So it, it makes it tough for people to wrap their minds around it. Because, like, in the simplest form, it's basically saying, like, hey, man, whatever I feel like, that's what I am. And if that's what it is, then that's cool. But why isn't it that with everything across the board is, is more so my question. I mean, and, and there may not be an answer for that. It's just, this is just me, again, just like challenging like right. the whole. Like I definitely understand what you're saying, but I don't have any experience in those other areas. So I really can't answer for those people. I got you. Um, so like, in the day, I, this is where I kind of wanted to include you in the, in the interview part where I'm actually interviewing you, right? Because I kind of feel like we kind of tag teaming you right now. Oh, I'm so but like, sorry. as far as um, wh why why did you become celibate uh, or or abstinent? I'm not really sure which one it is, but like, have you since you've began your transition, right? Have you have you actually dated and then decided to stop? Or was it you was just like, I'm going to just do my own shit, and then once it's done? I think I'm there now. I honestly think I'm there now. Like, I've, I've had sex since I started my transition. Um, and I think the reason why I chose to become solid is because I felt like I did everything wrong and backwards, per se, and nothing came about it. So I'm like, okay, let me just try something different and see if something positive or something lasting comes out of it. Okay. What, was you, what were your... Uh, do you feel like niggas ain't shit too? I definitely feel like niggas ain't shit. <laughs> because, because she's a woman. Especially woman. now. Especially now. Why? I feel like men are just, they're not real when it comes to their intentions. They cannot just be like, look, I want to fuck you. Look, let's just go on dates. Let's I'll just have agree. fun. Like, like I feel on, like men agree. cannot give you that. Like, I feel like they will take you on dates, take you around robin, like, really, really, like, feed you the world and make you think that everything is everything. And then they be on some fuck shit. So yeah, niggas ain't shit. We Thank see, you. we about to get on this whole. I knew I loved you. How does that? How does that? Does that but how does that make a nigga ain't shit? We really about to. Yeah, niggas all right. Yeah, but <laughs> Period. Period. How are you gonna? But Period. how are you gonna? Because you you said a couple of words that stood out. You okay. said that men aren't intentional or they can't. They're not. Most men aren't honest with what they want. Can you not? Can you, is it possible that a person can go into a situation not knowing what they want? See, I watched this on your other interview, but I feel like, I feel like if that be the case, say, look, I'm not sure what I want. So, you know, let's just chill. Let's have fun. Let's see where it goes. See where it goes. And you don't know, wait a minute. So, he's, so you're telling me right now that the niggas have said that. And, and and women believe them. They never and they take and they take it and they take it. 
don't. Men don't. I men don't say. Never. Niggas don't say. Let's just go with the flow. Never. No. no. Get the no. fuck no. out, y'all. No. Okay. <laughs> here's the thing. You can say I want to go with the flow, and then you start doing all this. See, okay. Here's this is my take on that shit. When you start doing boyfriend stuff, don't let me sleep over. Who defines while that? And doing Who defines that? that though? You can't define that. Maybe that's just how he. Maybe that's just how he moves. You know, no, I feel like who moves like that? What you mean? If a, well, you can, men move like that. You can like some, okay. You can like you can like somebody without wanting them to be your girlfriend. Well, say that. Thing. Yeah, oh, just say that, but don't do it. And but then, you don't. And the, but you can't. It's some things you can't do in the beginning because you simply don't because you don't you, know. You just say I don't know. If I feel like men know. I I, I honestly feel like men know. So you know, wait. if you just want to fuck a girl, you know, if you want to like that's, you want to fuck all of the girls. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> to be clear. Okay? Like, whether you whether you a sly, whether you a, a potential girlfriend, whether I think you're going to be my wife the first time I meet you, I want to fuck all three of those. Was no? Said, Am I, like, <laughs> that's not being not shit. Because I don't want to fuck every nigga I meet. Like, you I not just, a dude. I'm just, so are we giving y'all a pass just because y'all are? It's not a pass. It's the reality of... <laughs> just because I want to fuck all of y'all is I have to like the person, but in order for me to like the person, I got to get to know the person. So I'm not gonna know that right away. I'm not gonna know like as soon as I meet you, I'm not gonna know what category that you in if we don't have no time spent. Oh, I can say this. I feel like. Do you feel like when men are of a certain age, you know certain things that are gonna make a woman fall for you or want to be with you? Based on the things that you do, you don't know these things. At how old are you now? You don't know certain things are gonna trigger a woman Yo. to. How old are these fucking women who fall for the shit? I mean, I don't. Time anymore, at the time but, at the time, know, you, like we have to if learn the nigga know what's gonna make a woman fall for him, why the woman don't know to watch out for the niggas who gonna do the I shit like to make niggas fall for them? We know also. We just give y'all answers the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, he might He's be nice different. Guy. Absolutely. He might but we, we know, so I we have to take responsibility as well. But sometimes we really don't know. Sometimes what you guys give us is just like, okay, this guy was is it, different. Was it the same when you were dating before you started your transition? No. It's completely different. What's kind of a, what's a difference that you've noticed? Um, I felt like, I felt like when I was a guy, I felt like I kind of knew what to expect with dudes. Like my mentality, like I thought like a woman, but I was like, okay. I see which angle you're coming from. Scoop on shit how too. is it this unfair? I don't, I don't understand how it's different. How is it? I honestly feel like when you're on horm hormones, I feel like your mind really, really starts oh, to spin. Okay. Um. So before I was on hormones, I was like, okay, but you know, you have so much testosterone, you're like, okay, well, if you want to fuck, we can fuck, um, and you can go about your way. But no, so how do you not understand how it is? But still, I mean, if at you've that had, point, you're still if, not shit, though. If you've had the testosterone, and then you've not had the testosterone, how can you now, as a person without the testosterone, not relate to the person who... she has with, hormones now. Don't I, don't, I don't know that old person. But that, don't mean, that doesn't mean that you forgot those... You, for, you So your brain just cut off? I don't know. Once, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Y'all yo, trash. I'm just saying, like, men... men women... People know, in general, people know what's going to trigger certain shit. But I feel like people don't take accountability. So okay. women get swept up in the, oh, we're cuddling. I'm over here watching Netflix. He took me to eat dinner. Maybe he really liked me in this light. And then it's been going on for five months. Okay, what are we doing? Right. But, but then see, the man is like, I'm just having a good time. Like, right. that, I mean, that, that like, sounds like a great time to me. Lord Jesus. It sounds like a good time. But see... You can't like you can't just say I don't feel like you. It's cool for for you to just say niggas ain't shit because you all play a part. And why is that shit going on for five months and Correct. you and you don't know Correct. what's and going we, on? I feel like we see the signs. I feel like, but we make excuses for those signs. I, I definitely feel like we do, and I'm just saying that from my own experience. Like looking back at some situations like recent, I'm just like, bitch, you knew better. Yeah. So my all right, like you you saw this shit. You know this nigga wasn't shit. So the <laughs> Every, every life possible. Every life. You still like it's okay. <laughs> but he be so cute when we go eat. Like Oh my God. We, so Alright. Don't so, give us good dick, fine. Just, so like <laughs> just don't give us good dick. We won't get caught up. What'd you say? Don't give up the A game and we'll be fine. Like give us like mediocre dick and we'll be like, ooh, we'll like we'll like you less. 
<laughs> we won't get us caught up as fast. Like that's so, that's so Trey, you be like, oh girl, girl, you know this nigga. Da, 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 da. Like you have the whole conversation with your friend, and you like to do less. But when you give an A one dick, and you feeding me, and we going out, okay, you're my man. Fuck that, because I can't let you out here with your dick giving it to everybody else. She's she's speaking facts. Y'all are ridiculous. Period. Those, those are facts. Ridiculous. So like, I remember remember, maybe I only remember because I'm a because I'm a dude, right? But it was a time. It was a point in time where like the narrative was like, uh, <clears throat> it's not like any good niggas out here. Like all the good black men are taken or in jail or dead or married or blah 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 blah. Um, and I remember like back when, back when it was like known that Atlanta was a place where a lot of gay people were, That's I think, um, people, I think then, <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, no, but I'm just saying like at that point in time, I think gay was then added to that list of like things that are making the quality black men more of a, of a scarce thing. Right. So but now they're, they're a good black man for other black men. <laughs> Damn. So, <laughs> but what I'm saying, this shit kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> and you here leave it, so a, you don't even care. It's a, it's At a, all. It's a Have loaded, all these niggas here. A, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aubrey. It's a loaded question, right? So now that transgender is a, is a thing, I feel like maybe that's another thing that takes away from being a good man. No, not takes <laughs> not not takes away not takes away from being a good man, but take but may take away from and this is more I guess directed to you. The yeah, like the numbers or your odds of actually finding that quote unquote like good man. And that's and that and that's again why I want to have the straight male, straight woman, trans woman on the show because trans straight woman make sure that's clear was it trans straight woman trans straight woman yeah well so what wait is trans? so you can be trans oh you because because like, i mean look at caitlin jenner caitlin jenner is not a, a straight woman because she's she a lesbian women. yeah it's so it's so many layers to that okay. like so, wait, so wait. many layers so wait, wait, wait. your gender so, has nothing to do with your orientation say that again your gender has nothing to do with your orientation so what is it so is feel there like women so what's like, a trans woman so what's a trans woman then? a trans woman is just a man that is not a woman. A trans woman who's heterosexual. And then there's trans okay. lesbian who like women still. Oh, okay. But I, I identify as a woman, but I still want to date women. Okay. I just don't want to be a man. Okay, I got you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I feel like... Hey, you got that. I feel like I, so, I can do this. So, so, I like so to straight. be... I don't want to be ignorant about, like, yeah, yeah, no. about stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to offend anybody. Like, I, right. I'm a people person. So I'm All right, so... Straight, straight man, straight woman, trans, straight woman, right? Straight woman. Just a straight, straight woman. I'm standing. I'm, <laughs> you right. can't win for losing for that. Um, Just two straight women. Okay, I got you. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so like, do y'all ever, I know the big thing is like, I'm not competing with nobody, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you kind of are, right? Like, do you feel, or do either of you guys feel like you're kind of like, in competition 